Greetings, I got an easy one for you today. Probably take you one day to build this. I've got cats and they like to look out the window, but the windowsill is too narrow to accommodate their fat cat bodies. So today I'm gonna build a platform that'll hook right into this windowsill and give them a little more space to enjoy the view. To build this contraption, I'll need a piece of half inch plywood, a drill, a handsaw, a couple of shelf supports, some small one inch L braces, a bath mat, tape measure, screwdriver, some one inch and one half inch wood screws, and of course, a cat. Links for all of these can be found in the description, except of course, the cat. Now the wood I'm going to use is leftover half inch plywood from another project, but a great place to find smaller pieces of wood at low cost is the coal wood bin at Home Depot. You can generally find it in the back of the lumber department, and depending on the day, you may find an assortment of decent wood scraps for 70% off. Can't beat that, especially for smaller projects like this. Everybody's window sill is different. Fortunately, my sill has a nice sturdy little track where the window slides. I'm going to design the platform so that it hooks into this rail, and hopefully that will keep it from sliding off when cat weight is added. I have my measurements, and now it's time to buy some supplies. Shelf support brackets are a must, of course. And I'm going to use some of these L-shaped corner braces as the hooks for the window sill. Step one, cut the wood down to whatever size is ideal for a kitty's butt to sit comfortably. Now, try to connect these to all of this. I just need some tiny little screws. I'll need six of these if I have them. There's six, we'll start there. can't screw these in with the drill because of the angle of this bracket. It's a little too tight. I'll just use a hand screwdriver. No big deal. So here we have the piece of wood with the brackets connected and it'll fit in the window just like this. It doesn't stay up right now because we have to put those littler L brackets on here to hold on to the windowsill. And then I think it'll be pretty stable. Now, as it turns out, I'm gonna have to connect a secondary piece of wood that overhangs the lip of the window track, like so. Then I should be able to connect the smaller L braces to that. Now, the screws I'm putting in closer to the edge are half-inch screws and I'll use three of those, one on each brace. The screws I'm putting closer to the middle of the plank are one inch screws, and the reason those are longer is that they'll need to go not only through this piece of wood, but also into the platform itself to hold it together. So I'm only gonna screw these halfway in for now. Now I'll put all the pieces together, make it hold tight to the windowsill, and then I'll mark off where it needs to be attached. I'm using wood glue to hold the pieces together and then I'll reinforce with the one inch screws. After the glue dries, I can finish screwing in the final three screws and I think this will provide ample reinforcement. Now I'll grab a volunteer and do a quick test. Hmm. I think it's uh, more or less successful. Now I just have to make it cozy. The last thing I want to do before covering it with the bath mat is to cut some one by one half inch sections of wood that I can glue around the edge to create a little bit of a lip. These edges are not load bearing, so I'm not gonna bother with using screws. Just some wood glue should be enough. Finally, for the cushioning, I'm using an old bath mat that I already know they enjoy sleeping on, and I'm just gonna use a staple gun to attach it to the platform. The only thing I need to look out for at this point is making sure that when I staple around the edges, that it doesn't interfere with how the platform sits in the window. Here you go, little guy. Oh my goodness, now you can chill and look out the window. What a lucky kitty. 
Well, there you have it, a simple window platform that you could probably build yourself. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button down below, as well as the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can get notifications the next time I build some crazy thing. Thief. You're a thief.